Hey guys, KV Sylveon, and I'm back. I got new everything, and I'm ready to get back into recording, but I'll go later on and explain what's been happening with me, and, well, this is the epilogue, prologue to Seduce Me 2 with Diana. I guess it's like a mixture of the two. It's like a pro-epilogue, because it follows Diana after Seduce Me 1, but it also sets up Seduce Me 2, so it's a mixture of the two. And the one that's with Diana and any other extras is Lily. So. I would have never believed it. No matter how many times I looked back on it, I could never have imagined it. My entire world was now a world full of magic and wonder, and it was all because of one person, Diana, a succubus. Diana was the one who caused my entire world to change. She was the one who brought the boys to my home, the inciting incident of the change in my life. She showed me magic and life beyond the human world, and I would forever be grateful for her that, to her for that. However, one fact still haunted me. Diana was also the one who murdered my grandfather. In an act of desperation, she had come to the human world and sacrificed my grandfather's life to get there. It was a choice she obviously didn't want to make, but one she had no choice in the matter on. I felt both pity and for her and a small form of torment from the situation. My grandfather was a man I loved very much. He raised me like his own daughter, and I didn't get the chance to even say goodbye. It was a tragedy. Still, I had to understand why. My curiosity desperately clung to the word. Was there truly no other way? Diana, let's go to my father's grave. What? Why? I want to visit him. Come with me. Very well. Diana was surprisingly obedient, despite being the one to place my grandfather in the grave. She had already pro proven to me her regret and sorrow, but I could tell she was holding some back something. I needed to know what it was and why my grandfather had to die for her. There had to have been something else that she could have done. Aww. My heart. We traveled in silence to the grave graveyard once more, where my grandfather was buried six feet under. The stone stamp was, was as clean as ever, and no one was around. It was only fitting, as cloudy, as cloudy sky above let rain fall upon us and soft mist involved the area. It was almost picturesque to stand in the graveyard with the atmosphere and the weather, with the atmosphere the weather was giving us. Bleh! My first video back and I cannot read! <clears throat> Still, we stood at the foot of the grave, staring at the engraved letters in the stone. I held a black umbrella over my head as Diana conjured a clear umbrella between her arm and side. Show off. Aww. As I looked over to Diana, I watched as she for formed a vase with lilies in her hands, cupping it gingerly and becoming lost in thought. Diana? Yes, dear? Can you tell me what happened? Diana stared at me in disbelief and confusion. What happened? Like, from the beginning. I want to know everything that happened and why he had to die. <sighs> Come on, Diana. You know you want to tell us. Diana looked back at the grave and pressed her lips together and up to a fine line before nodding and closing her eyes. I braced myself for a story that I probably didn't want to hear, but it was one I had to barrel through in order to quell the curiosity in my heart. When I was born, I was brought up to be the perfect princess. I was given lessons on every subject known to the demon world, and studied almost endlessly on harnessing my powers and ruling over a kingdom that would one day be mine. As I grew up, I began to master my powers and eventually became known as the most powerful succubus in the demon world. By the time I was old enough to be, as humans say, a teenager, I was making armies bow to me in allegiance and obedience. I smiled a bit, seeing her lips curl into a nostalgic grin. I could practically imagine it. Down! Bark! Amazing! That's incredible. 
Really? Thank you, Daddy. Sir, a message. Huh. Hand it here. Father? Well, I have to say, I'm very shocked. Dear? What's going on? Aww. The Demon Lord is willing to consider our offer. Are you certain? What offer? An offer that will save this kingdom, is there? A marriage proposal. Uh, a marriage? Between me and one of his sons? Yes, Azair. Are you upset with us? No. I understand. Aww. You do? Mm-hmm. If I can help this kingdom by getting married, then I will do it. Oh, good heart. <sighs> We're proud of you, dear. We're so happy you understand. Aww, Diana. When I learned of my engagement, I became determined. I was confident in myself that I could protect my kingdom and become both a perfect bride and a perfect queen. My parents met with the Demon Lord and eventually came back with the name of my intended. James? Reistra, the eldest son. It only made sense. He was the one in line to take his father's throne, and I was the only child of my family's kingdom. For a while, anyway. A while? Diana's smile brightened a bit more as she closed her eyes and chuckled to herself. In my kingdom, the rulers are charged with only giving birth to one child per generation, to ensure that there is no slaughter for the throne. However, as I reached adulthood, I was told that I was no longer going to be an only child. Mother? Father? You wish to speak to me? Isaiah, we have something very important to tell you. Important? What is it? I still get chills no matter what how many times I play this. Isair, I'm pregnant. Ah! What? You're pregnant? Ah! Yeah! <laughs> no, I'm I'm like grinning ear to ear. Yes, you will be having a sibling. I was astonished. I didn't know how to act to such news. I knew of our family's traditions, so I was stunned. I was going to have a younger sibling? Please, say something. I... I... Finally, as it all settled in, I was overjoyed. The thought of having a younger sibling was too exciting to hold in. When I would be in the Demon Lord's castle being a queen, my parents would be able to bring up a new heir to take my place. <sighs> I'm so happy! This is wonderful! I remember the joyful looks on my parents' faces when I told them of my excitement. I would later learn that the baby would be a girl. <laughs> a younger sister. Uh, Michaela? There should be a B in there. I think you got a little excited writing for your own character. <laughs> what will her name be? Orabel. I was given the option to name her, and my parents accepted it. Aww! That's a beautiful name. Diana smiled and nodded in agreement. Her eyes, paint, eyes painted her longing perfectly in her expression. I cannot wait to see her. When I left, she was still within my mother's womb. You left o before Orabel was born? Yes. I had little choice in the matter. What? What do you mean the wedding is dissolved? I I'm sorry, princess. The Demon Lord's sons have disappeared! This can't be. No, I must... I must speak to the Demon Lord. Princess? I must speak to him! Hmm. When I learned of the boy's disappearance, and the possibility of my marriage dissolving, I panicked and rushed to the Demon Lord, begging to allow me to find his sons and bring them back. I was thankful that he agreed, and I spent every waking moment I had trying to find their trail. When I did, I ripped it open and came through myself without a second thought. I still remember that day. A gate spell. How could I have been so blind? They didn't just vanish. They left this plane for the human world. Damn it! My princess. What should I tell the d demon lord? Tell him I found out where his sons have gone. Once you deliver the message, go back to Lilith Castle. Back to the castle? But what about- I'm going to the human world alone. You need to send word to them and tell them what happened. 
But what will I say? Tell them their daughter is protecting them. If they demand an explanation, tell them everything. Now go. As you wish, your highness. Aww. All right. Time to find my husband. I recast the spell and found myself entering a hospital where your grandfather was visiting. As the gateway closed, your grandfather took his last breath and passed away before he even realized what was happening. How could he have not known? I was draining his life energy to maintain the connection to him through the gate spell. I overpowered his will to fight back and locked his focus so he couldn't see me coming. That's underhanded. That's the instincts of a demon. We strategize and overpower our targets so that we can take advantage of them. Human or demon. <sighs> Diana let out a sad sigh before gripping the vase in her hand. The moment he took his last breath was the moment I realized what I had done and became wracked with guilt. I ran as far as I could and wallowed in what I had done to that man, questioning everything I was doing and why I was doing it. But soon enough, I became filled with purpose once more. I had to find the boys. I had done too much damage to try and turn back. So I had to go all of the way. I shook my grief out and returned to my hunt. Then you found me. Then I found you, dear. Diana looked to me, her eyes full of guilt and self-reflection. I can never take back what happened. If there was any way I could undo what I had done, then I would. I am truly and deeply sorry. It's okay. At least now I know. Diana was genuine enough to open up to me about the ordeal. It almost looked like a heavy weight had been lifted off of her shoulders just from the side that escaped her lips at my reply. As she looked back to the grave, she knelt down and placed the vase on the gravestone. I wonder what my parents will think. I'm sure they'll understand, Diana. <laughs> well, I'll get to see them soon enough, I suppose, whenever I return. And Aurabelle. Diana's smile returned at the sound of her sister's name. And Aurabelle. I'll finally be able to meet her. However, despite the words that rang out from her lips, my, her hand gently grasped mine. I still have more to teach you, so I will not be leaving yet. I felt glad that she was willing to stay and keep teaching me, despite what had happened. While it was her punishment for killing my grandfather to tell me everything she knew, she was willing to stay and keep her word instead of running back to where her family was. I was a bit honored. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll bring you back with me so you can meet my parents and sister as well. Really? For a while, anyway. I'll have to take care of the Demon Lord, since I failed to find his sons. I'm sure you'll be fine. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> this always gets to me. I'm always smiling, because... It shows that Diana does have humanness to her. And Michaela really brought her out in this. <laughs> and the hashtag there, long live the demon queen. Woo! So, I will edit this and put it up. And then while it's going up, I will be recording Diana's full route, like in pieces, of course. And that will be the end, except for Seduce Me Regular, where I'll have to do Naomi, Suzu, and Andrews. And then, of course, the other good end. The other endings, technically. Ah, I got a lot to do. A lot to do. Not too much to do play. <sighs> anyway, I will see you guys in the next part which is going to be Seduce Me 2, Diana's route, and you will return with Lily. Well, yeah. Surprisingly, I have two OCs technically after flowers. There's Violet, who's canon with Sam, and now we have Lily, who's non-canon. Because my canon route... <sighs> I'm going to go into this in a little bit. I will... See you guys in the next part. Uh, bye!